Hello everyone, it is me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you one of my uh, trading plans for this week. Usually on Monday Valentine shares with you his trading plan but today he is out of the office uh, having some issues to attend. So uh, I will be sharing my plan with you today and he will share his tomorrow so if you are more into commodities or uh, indexes uh, you can check his plan tomorrow. Today it's all about Forex. Uh, we are going to look at the uh, GBP USD currency pair which you currently see on the screens and as usual uh, we are going to start from a higher time frame uh, and we'll uh, go down to the lower time frames. Uh, I want to say here that this uh, trading plan will be a short-term trading plan so our main um, uh, time frame where we will pick our levels uh, will be the H4 uh, but then we'll finish the trading plan on the H1 as H4 uh, levels uh, tend to uh, stop H1 trends. Uh, we will also look at the M15 actually uh, where uh, we will look for entries as usual live signals will be posted on our telegram channel join now if you haven't from the link below this video and on our Twitter profile. Let's get started with this plan. As you can see, I have already marked a few levels. Uh, you can see that we have two H4 resistance areas, one H4 support and two H4 tops. Uh, let's start from the resistance areas. Uh, first of all, uh, we are currently standing in uh, the first H4 resistance area. Uh, for me, this area is defined by this uh, consolidation here. Uh, as you can see, before that we had an uptrend uh, that stopped here, made a correction, then uh, the price entered inside of the H4 resistance, consolidated there for a while, failing to break um, down, and made a new wave up, up to here. And, uh, here you can see how uh, quickly and very strongly the price was pushed uh, down below this area. So my expectations here are for this area to react as the first resistance. Now I have a second H4 resistance in case this one is uh, broken. Uh, this is defined by the previous stop made by the price here. So I would expect if the price retraces there uh, for us to see a downtrend wave. Now here is our H4 support. Uh, you can see in the past how uh, the price reacted from that area either as a support or as a resistance so this is a strong area uh, we, uh, which we should take uh, notice about and um, I would expect for a downtrend wave from here to stop somewhere there. Now regarding the two H4 tops uh, first thing first I want to say that uh, currently on the H4 we can consider this already a downtrend. Uh, here is the uh, last H4 top that was broken over here. So I don't expect for uh, the price to retrace back up to this H4 resistance area here. Uh, now this H4 top here is defined by this is kind of a resistance uh, level although it acted as a support twice. So this is a level uh, we'll take a good look at. Uh, we'll look at it closely, uh, especially if we enter on the M15 or M30 or even H1. Uh, there is a chance that we'll see a stoppage of a downtrend here, a small correction and then a continuation of the downtrend. So at this point, uh, let's go to the H1 and see what happens there. Now first thing, I'll just delete that so uh, it doesn't bother us. First thing I notice here is the uh, small consolidation or square formation the price has made over here. Just above uh, this H4 top we talked about. As you can see from there it uh, the price exploded up and is currently standing inside of the H4 resistance area. Now in my opinion we uh, have two possible scenarios here. 
the first one is for the price uh, to drop from here probably reach back to this uh, level again then uh, we'll, there is a high chance we'll see a sort of a small correction here and probably right after that a continuation of the downtrend uh, reaching to our H4 support which will be our uh, first and main target. Now, uh, the other scenario I see here, although I'm more inclined uh, to sell the pair, uh, there is a chance here uh, for us to see a break of this H4 resistance area for the price to reach to this H4 top or this level, uh, then a correction to occur back to this uh, H4 resistance which will turn into a support and then a new wave up all the way to the last stop the price made and uh, this second H4 resistance and from there uh, we'll most likely see a drop in the price. Uh, those are the two scenarios I'll be looking at. Uh, what can we do? We can uh, look for sell opportunities either here if uh, the bounce is confirmed uh, Again, you can look for sell opportunities here with the target inside of this H4 support or If uh, the price breaks this H4 resistance, you can look for buy uh, position somewhere here after the correction has finished and this will be your main target here again I'll look for sell opportunities uh, this is regarding the H1, if we turn on the Ichimoku indicator you can see that uh, the price is actually into a downtrend uh, it is below the cloud so the cloud might act as a resistance area and it is aligning with the H4 resistance area so that's a good sign uh, the Bollinger Bands have just opened I'm not gonna talk about them now the 200 SMA we were below it, now we are above it, uh, so uh, this is kind of a double signal, I won't take it into account, I'll just monitor the price action and see what happens. Uh, what should I expect on the M15? I'll look for a few things, either a small a sort of a square formation being formed inside of this resistance, so somewhere here. Uh, another thing you can look for is a break of this uh, previous stop on the M15. Let's just see the M30 because it might be better there, but uh, nah. M15 seems uh, good for an entry. So either a, a consolidation here, a break of the bottom of this uh, square formation and then uh, we can look for an entry or we can wait for the price to reverse and to break uh, the previous stop so this can be more like of an area here not a certain level so a break of this uh, would uh, mean a sell for us uh, if uh, this doesn't happen, as I said, we'll wait for the uh, full uptrend wave to finish, then a correction, and then we'll look for entries. Uh, this is it regarding this plan. I hope you enjoyed it. I will try to post uh, good live signals based on it. Uh, also, the plan will be posted on TradingView, and in the description, you can see all the zones we talked about in numbers as well as a short fundamental analysis for this week uh, I'll just mention the uh, most important reports or events uh, to look for and uh, that might cause a huge volatility on the market I wish you a great uh, first of all and uh, most importantly profitable week and you hear more from us thank you